Welcome back to Twin Leaf Town. After four months, we're finally back. Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Raid Fun, and welcome to the first of many bonus episodes for Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. So, in the last episode, we returned home after being the champion of the Sinnoh region. And in this episode, well, there's a lot of things to do in the after game. Quite a lot more to do than Diamond and Pearl, and a, quite a lot more than almost any other generation as prior to this game. So, beginning here in our room, I don't know if I actually did this when I was first here, but let's... Okay, I was thinking of something else then. That's not what I was trying to look at at all. But let's listen to the TV. Mom bought this TV as a gift. It's a Wii! It's controlled by a Wii remote! Oh, really? Um, okay, that was dumb, but... Anyways, back in Twin Leaf Town, there's a couple things that... Oh my god! The X button opens the menu. Who would have thought? Anyways, so let's just stop with all this fun stuff and let's go downstairs. Alright, hey mom. Sebastian, Antoine came looking for you a little while ago. I don't know what it was about, but he was shouting that you needing to get on a ship at Snow Point City. You know how impatient he is. Oh god, do I know. He was gone before I could ask. Anyway, how's it going, kid? Are you stealing my line? Is your project with Professor Rowan coming along? <laughs> what project? We don't even care about the Pokedex anymore. Uh, but anyways, ooh, that was a blip there, but if we step outside, it's almost exactly the way it was four months ago. And it's really nice to come back here. It's a lot like I'm restarting this game all over again, but, you know, clearly what we're going to do now is we're going to do the obvious and fly to Snow Point City, because where we're going to go now is actually going to be pretty nice. Now, you may be thinking where we're going to go. Well, you'll find out in just a second. But if you're smart enough and can use common sense, you know where we're heading next. That and if you've already played this game, well then, obviously you know where we're going. So landing in Snow Point City with this fog and snow, I actually haven't really seen the fog before. Maybe I was just oblivious to it back then, but now I see it. Anyways, the ship is down here south of s s the Snow Point City, I almost said Sunny Shore. And right here, there's a guy. And what you want to do is you want to talk to him. What is it? Do you want to sail to the battle zone? And while doing that, guess who comes along? I thought you would come. I'm glad I waited for you. I think it's good that our world is constantly changing. Of course, I don't want it to become what only one person wants. A world like Cyrus envisions? No one would want that. The kind of world I want to see is where everyone can share their joy where Pokemon and the people around them can be happy for each other. I want the world to become a place where everyone is smiling. The world could be so much better if we all tried to make it that way. I want you to keep traveling to many far-off places. I want you to keep meeting all kinds of people in Pokemon. I came all the way here just so I could say that to you. Your horizons will expand again if you visit the fight area as well. I hope our paths cross again. Aye, aye, then! Let's set sail! Alright, so we basically just got a hint, or she basically told us where we're going next. And, real quick, I really do like the design of that boat, because it has drills on the side, and that's really cool. And, oh, guess who it is. Oh, hey, Sebastian! What took you so long? I'm finding you 100 million Poké Dollars! Actually, never mind, fine. Come be, will ya? Oh, I thought we would never hear the tutorial music again. Anyways, welcome to the fight, or the battle zone, or whatever the thing is, but... Sebastian, I tried to get into the battle frontier, which happens to be right here. Then these guys came along and got on my face about it. Like, they're saying I want to test me if I'm good enough and all that. Like, as I need to prove anything. So let's team up, like we did at the Spear Pillar. Let's show these guys how good we are. Okay, so now that I'm back, uh, sorry about that, I actually have to go grab something for this, because I kind of forgot this actually happened in-game. So... Once again, we're going to team up with our rival, and we're going to take down an Elite Four member, and someone else that looks kind of familiar to you guys. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about! So there's an Elite Four and a Gym Leader. We can whoop them! This situation just cooks! The drama and tension sizzles! Flint, the fiery master of fire Pokémon, is going to put you to the test! Let Flint see how hot your spirit burns! 
I don't know how I managed to get myself into this, but uh, show me these skills that got you through the Pokemon League. And you guys thought we would never see a double battle bio, which is going to be pretty hard for me to put on screen with good resolution. So begins the double battle versus Flint of the Elite Four and Volkner, the final gym leader of the Sinnoh region. Two worthy adversaries that we fought previously in other episodes. So Flint is going to start off with a Houndoom level 56 with the moves Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, Sunny Day, and Sludge Bomb. And Volkner is going to start out with a Luxray, also level 56, with the moves Thunder Fang, Ice Fang, Fire Fang, and Crunch. I think I said that right. Yeah, I said it right. So this is going to be pretty difficult for me to put on both screens at once, but I think it's going to be relatively okay to do so. I don't know how it's going to turn out, but right now what I can only do is I want to send out Torterra for this, because since we're dealing with a Fire Fighting, or Fire Fighting, no, that's not Blaziken, Fire Dark type, as well as a... Sorry... Electric type, I'm kind of out of it. It's been a week since I recorded, so please apologize. Or I apologize, you see what I mean? I'm already screwing up on this, and I did not even notice that Star Raptor fainted. Well, you're still useless, <laughs> Antoine. But my tra my strategy for this is that, or former strategy, was that I want to use Earthquake so I can attack everyone since Luxray is electric type and Houndoom is a fire type, so it's going to be super effective against both. And with Star Raptor being out, we could have actually had a chance to do Earthquake and not hurt our rival's Pokemon. Or I guess in this case, our friend's Pokemon, but it doesn't really matter. Since that Brick Break did not finish him off, Flamethrower isn't really going to hurt that much because Torterra has gone through training and he is defensive, hopefully. So I don't think Torterra is going to go down anytime soon, right? Yeah, he's not going to go down, but he will be left with a burn, which is rather unfortunate. And Thunder Fang on Float Cells is not looking so good. But this battle really isn't that hard, actually. Um, you just need to be a little bit prepared. I mean, it's mainly your rival you're going to have to worry about in the end. Alright, but with Float Cell down, I guess we could just do Earthquake regardless of any situations that have happened previously. So, same type attack bonus, or stab, as I recently learned that was the abbreviation for. Let's see how we do. So, Houndoom goes down. And we get Luxray to... Come on... Torterra, I know you're strong, er, eh, relatively well. So Murphy gets XP, Torterra gets XP, hurt by the burn, but it shouldn't be that bad. And a Snorlax, okay, well, it's not that bad right now. So Flint's next Pokemon is his Flareon. Level 56, with the moves Overheat, Will-O-Wisp, Giga Impact, and Quick Attack. So that Quick Attack's gonna be annoying for me, because I'm not gonna survive this. But I kind of don't want to leave Torterra out, so look, predictions, predictions, predictions. Clear on your squeak attack on me, and I already knew it. You see, I told you. Okay, so moving on to strategy number two. So hopefully... Okay, Luxray's Crunch, that shouldn't do a whole lot to Snorlax, not the slightest. And then Body Slam on Luxray, alright, that's actually pretty good. Now we can focus on Flareon. So how about we go ahead, and once this is all over... We can get XP, and Murphy grew to level 63. And we can use Manny for this next part, since we do need to give him some training, since he really hasn't seen all that much action in the Pokemon League. Alright, so Jolteon is his next Pokemon. Kind of funny how they have a Flareon and Jolteon. It always kind of interested me a little bit. So Jolteon, level 56. Boy, would you have guessed? With the moves Charge Beam, Double Kick, Pin Missile, and Quick Attack. Quick Attack is something you're going to have to worry about a little bit, but it's not entirely bad. So let's use Surf, and Charge Beam is going to hurt a little bit. It's not, well, not a little bit, it's going to hurt a lot, but who knows, maybe it won't do as much. The only thing I'm worried about is a next attack if this one fails to make Manny faint. Okay, well now that we've actually had a chance to use Surf, we should be able to take down Flareon, because Flareon can go down, because I could care less. But we just got to see, and that did not do crap. That's wonderful. And we heard Snorlax, but it wasn't really that bad. So Will-O-Bisp, will bisp will o -bisp missed, and Body Slam on Jolteon, so that takes him down. Okay, that did better than Surf. And Paralyzed, ha! How's it feel to be Paralyzed when you're Electric-type? Huh? Okay, that was dumb. But right now, how about we use... Hmm... 
Let's use Aqua Gen Flareon just because we can. I mean, Manny's not going to survive much longer. And that does... More than Surf! Okay, not complaining. Okay, well, with that, we get XP and Snorlax Body Slam it off to end off Jolteon, and they're down to their last two Pokemon. So let's get our XP again. And... Volkner! He has his Electrovire back from when he... Did he even have one? I don't even remember. But I do know that Flint had a Magmortar. So, Electivire and Magmortar, level 58 each, with the moves Flamethrower, Fire Punch, Solar Beam, and Thunder Punch for Magmortar, and Thunder Punch, Brick Break, Fire Punch, and Giga Impact with Electivire. Kind of unique how they actually have Fire Punch for both of them. It's kind of cool, actually, and it kind of interests me a little bit. Alright, let's just do the same thing we did before, and use Aqua Jet on Magmortar just because we can, and I kind of just want to get some little ex or little damage in there. It's not going to be a whole lot, just more than half. Oh, and a Citrus Berry. I almost forgot to mention. Uh, they each hold a Citrus Berry, making it, or making them, their strongest Pokemon. And Thunder Punch, which was kind of useless, because they really... Electivire could have used another move, and it could have... Actually, he could have just used, like... Actually, no, there wasn't, there wasn't anything else that he could have used, so... Okay, I've completely neglected the Thunder Punch, or Thunderbolt... Wait, what? Okay, there's a... Okay. Uh, sorry about the Thunder Punch, it's actually Thunderbolt from what I can read here, because this bio seems to be either outdated or someone just sucks at editing. Uh, right here, it actually says Thunder Punch, but it's actually Thunderbolt, so please excuse any um, confusion that you may have occurred while watching. I promise it's not me, I'm just, this is Bolopedia, and I forgot, I give them shoutouts most of the time on Twitter, because I really couldn't have done this without them since... I couldn't be as informative as I am right now without them, so... Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, now that we have Lenix out, what we could do right now is we can just hope we can get something good with Crunch in. So let's try and do Crunch and see what we can do. Brick Break on Snorlax. Ooh, that's not going to look so good for us. Snorlax, you can survive. I will love you forever. And okay, I'll love you forever until you die. Which is going to be relatively soon, because I don't trust your abilities to survive. Not trying to be mean, but hey. You're a bunch of pixels. Okay, Magmor- Ugh, Stop using Flamethrower and Lenix. Just let him survive. I mean, come on. He's already burned. Why do you have to make him even more burned? Give him, like, third degree or something. And w Please don't let it be a crit. A critical, of course. And Okay, Snorlax, you can go ahead and rest. I think you have, like, a strategy behind it, don't you? You should have a chest over here, I think. Come on. Your massive amounts of HP are making this last longer than before. And, wow. You- don't really have a Chesto Berry, that would be pretty useful, but then again, Leftovers are another useful thing, but I don't even think he has those equipped even. Okay, well let's send out Egoraptor for this, because Egoraptor, with his Brave Bird, I mean, we already saw a prime example of that back at the Pokemon League. So seeing that is going to be pretty cool, so I want to use it on Electivire, actually no, not even on Electivire. Uh, hmm, I think I could just take it down with... Yeah, let's just be safe and use Braver on Magmortar, just because we don't want to fail with it, because I kind of just want Magmortar gone, since he is one of the biggest threats right now. And with that, we get hit by a little bit of recoil, but down goes Magmortar. So we'll just keep getting our XP, and Electivire... You will not go to level 50 or 61, because Eagraptor got that. Okay, and Brick Break once again on Snorlax. Alright, Snorlax, I'm sorry. I loved you before, but... Oh, wait, I forgot you used Rest. I was gonna say, like, yeah, okay, you're not gonna be loved anymore by me, but... Oh, well. Okay, now we're gonna take a chance here and use Brave Bird on his Electivire, and let's see how much damage this really does. Because either I'm just a little bit delusional, or, yeah, it's not gonna do a whole lot of damage, is it? Uh, well, I actually almost got it. Okay, well, I'm fine with that. You can use your Citrus Berry, that's alright. I'll just use a move that can do 40 HP. Probably Brave Bird again, because, really, there's a... Ooh, that's not gonna be pretty when we're done with that. Ego Raptor. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot at all. Alright, well then, we won, because... Seriously, there is no way we can lose right now, right? Yeah, there's no way we can lose. I mean, it's not like my game's gonna crash or anything, right? Yeah, that's gonna crash. And with that... We just beat the gym leader again, and the Elite Four member again! How does that make you feel, Flint and Volkner?
Your toughness is something else. We are completely overwhelmed. Hey, don't burn down on us. Now you're just getting in the way. <laughs> that was a blast. Our combination came up short, but you're also a lot tougher as well. Probably we will do this again. I'll see to taking this husk home. Flint's still mad. See, I got a lot tougher yet. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm off to the front. What's this all about? What the? Daddy? Huh? Ah! If it isn't Antoine, you've grown all sturdy. And Sebastian, too. I haven't seen you in a long time, either. Antoine, your mother told me you've gone off to the battle zone, so I had to come running looking for you. So, are you two going to take the Battle Frontier Challenge? The Frontier's five facilities are all dedicated to battling. Each one has a unique set of rules, so they're all different. Of course, you have to be good to win at any of them. Anyway, I'm satisfied to see that you're both doing well. I'll go back to my usual place in the Battle Tower. I'll be looking forward to your challenge. My dad is cool, huh? I mean, when he gets down, when he gets right down to it, you think so too, right? He's a frontier brain after all. He's a tower tycoon. I want to be cool like my dad. Sashin, that's the one reason I decided to become a trainer. Ooh, what am I going to do? Should I make a challenge now, or should I train some more? Okay, I've decided. I'm going to get tougher. Bye a lot. I finally made it here. There's no need for haste now. <laughs> oh my god, I love talking really fast. Hey, hey. I just watched you two battle. You're something special, aren't you? Being in League 4 like that. Oh, right. Howdy. My name's Buck. I'm usually training at Survival Area or Stark Mountain. You should come up there. You'll get toughened up for sure. I'm sorry if I'm still talking fast, but whenever I do the rival's voice, I always end up talking extremely fast. So, because you all know the story behind it, because he's really hyper. For all of you who didn't get that and are wondering, like, why I talk so fast only when it's him. And that probably just carried along to talking with Buck. Alright, well, with that, that's going to be it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be exploring the battle facilities and seeing what we can do here. So... Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.